welcome back guys it's uh, Jose with you today from era service uh, today we have a 2012 Cascadia with the DD 15 uh, code DF line heater line one open circuit so first thing I did was you know hop under the truck remove this shield that we have here which protects the DEF pump, DEF pump from any uh, road debris or you know, rocks, stuff like that coming down the road. And look what we have here. Cut through right here, the shield itself. Show you guys where it was rubbing through. Left lower corner really easy to uh, remove guys only four bolts for you owners out there that want to change out your DF filter it's on the lower side of the pump over here I'll show you guys in a second but yeah so that shield rubbed through and I'm taking a look over here and also the the harness for it as well it has some corrosion on it I should snap There you go. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see that corrosion right there. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and order this uh, DF line. Throw it on there, coat should disappear. Secure it properly so it doesn't rub through. It was actually rubbing in a couple spots. One right here, lower side and on the back side over here so secure it properly and i'm going to show you guys that df filter location it's right right here guys to gain access to that shield uh i'm sorry to remove that shield you're going to need a 916 and four bolts two on each side remove it you got access to it um while you're at it, visually inspect these uh, wires, see if you see any corrosion. Like I mentioned, we put a new heat shield on there. Uh, the other one was rusted out. Um, you can see the DEF pump right here, brand new. I should have recorded uh, without the sh shield, but you know. Yeah, we got the new DEF pump there. Heater line secured. It's not gonna be rubbing up against anything. Uh, we also had a code for the DEF uh, line heater one, which is this one right here. We replaced. Um, after that, we ran a regen, failed. Um, reason being DEF pressure low. Ran some tests. Um, air pressure was right, uh, within uh, specs, 80 psi. Then we removed the return valve uh, line on the DF pump. We had a DF point out of it. So we want to go ahead and purchase a new DF pump. Threw the DF pump on there, ran a regen. Uh, NOx efficiency stayed above the 85%. Uh, regen was successful. We got, we got a new heat shield on there. And truck's ready to go. Just wanted to give you guys an update. Alright guys, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't, talk to you soon.